to both teams and the way they're playing. Sean O'Neill from Grimoire. A little bit optimistic, Alan Brogan putting in the challenge. A little push on the back by Philip Jordan, who's a little bit frustrated. And Joe McQuillan wisely just saying, keep it calm. Sideline ball taken by Alan Brogan. Up first, Paul Flynn. Scored a goal and a point against Kildare. Michael Darrow McCauley going forward from midfield. Putting the Tyrone midfield and half back line under pressure by making those surging runs. Almost doing a Sean Kavner. But what about that for defending by Tyrone? Oh, 10 out of 10 for sheer defensive play by the Ulster boys. Yeah, I think it was Martin Smith and Sean O'Neill, the double team. Michael Darren McCauley going forward that time made a wonderful job, forced the error. Kevin Hughes. Man of the match in the 2003 All Ireland football final. And still going strong. Blocked down this time. Pick up by Barry Cow. Ball inside to Alan Brogan. He's getting an awful lot of space. He takes the chance. No, he doesn't. Ball wide. First wide of the match after 13 and a half minutes in the first half. Yeah, I think he rushed that somewhat. He's had more time than he realised. Dublin are using the long ball to great effect at the moment. Tyrone are trying to work the ball up through the lines, but they're running into Dublin tackles again and again and finding it very difficult to get the ball through the full forward line. Pascal McConnell. Kick out. Straight down the middle. Referee's whistle is blown. Tyrone were fouling in that area. Ger Brennan from St. Vincent's. Pumps it into the space. Jim McConnell. Barry Powell gone inside. Here comes Connolly. Fantastic score. Connolly is a man on form and posing serious problems for the Tyrone full back line. Just watch this. Simple but lovely. Yeah, I'm surprised at the room he's been given by Justin McMahon. He's taking him laterally. The ball's been fed with great quality into the space. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's a change coming up at Tyrone in the next couple of minutes. Three points for Dear McConnelly, all from play, in an area that I'm sure Tyrone weren't expecting to have a problem. Colm Kavner, great catch, lays it off to Sean O'Neill. What about that for intensity by Dublin? Michael Darren McCauley didn't want to pull in the ball because his teammate was going down on it. But consequently, there's a bit of a scramble, and it means that Tyrone get the free. Peter Hart goes over this side to Martin Swift from Killy Clough who is playing, by the way, with a broken nose. Picked up against Roscommon last week here in Croke Park. On Mulligan, back by Sean Kavner. A foul committed by Michael Fitzsimons from Kula. And it's a free end for Tyrone. Remember, Tyrone haven't scored since the fourth minute of the match. It's a long, long time. Yeah, but they've been subjected to great tackling by the Dublin defence. They've been subjected to heroic play all through the field from Dublin. Yes! Great effort by Sean Kavner. Wonderful free. Quick kick out by Stephen Cluxton. Spotted that Barry Cal was available. Decided against the initial layoff. Alan Brogan. Ger Brennan into the space to Dermot Connolly. And Tyrone full back line are being torn apart. And Connolly is the main culprit. Sean O'Neill is marking him. But Dermot Connolly has put it over the bar for another magnificent score. That's four points by the full forward. And Tyrone have to make more changes. On this occasion, it was Sean O'Neill that was preventing, trying to prevent Dermot Connolly. Before that, it was Joe McMahon. Yeah, you're correct. Sean O'Neill is marking him at the moment. Justin McMahon had been taken for four, uh, three points, actually. I'm surprised that Tyrone haven't dropped a player back in front of the full back line, a thing that they used to do quite a bit in the past. Kick out by Pascal McCall. Colin Cavan desperately unlucky and had a hard landing as well. Connolly again. Can he do it once more? Oh, well, no, it's gone wild. I actually thought it was going over the bar because it looked like from this angle it was on target. Yeah, well, Serious trouble for Mickey Hart and Tony Donnelly in that full back line. 
very much so, but Sean O'Neill was trailing in his wake that time. He's no way close to him. And it's just that looseness in the in the full in the Tyrone back line is spreading throughout at the moment, and there's so many of them at the moment taking in water. As you can see, Brian Duher there amongst uh, the rest of the substitutes warming up. But it's really not round midfield or the half forward line there, problems, it's in the full back line. It's Colum Kavna had a wonderful catch, but when he landed. He really fell awkwardly. He's been uh, scoring regularly in this championship campaign. Two against Longford, two against Roscommon. So he's a vital card. Pascal McCollins kick out. This time it's a little bit shorter as he aims for Hughes. Alan Brogan battles. Requires Conor Gormley to go down on it. Pushed in the back. Free to Tyrone. Referee will stop play. There's a Tyrone player down injured. See, John McQuillan will wait for Martin Swift to gather his thoughts. And, uh, hopefully, he'll resume. It's a shoulder problem. He's been in a battle for this cornerback jersey uh, with himself and his uh, clubmate Dermot Carlin. Didn't come through the ranks at all, Martin Swift. He's 27 years of age. Yeah, an interesting statistic at the moment in Tyrone kickouts. They've only won two of their eight kickouts at the moment, and Dublin are winning, are, are winning 50% of their own. So Dublin are well on top in the middle of the field. Joe McMahon goes for distance. Good anticipation by Ter Brennan, read it well. Dear McConnell comes out to the half forward line and sets of possession. Joe McMahon did really well here in a straight battle with Bernard Broga. And the referee is giving the free to Dublin. Has he got his signals uh, crossed here? Let's just see what happened. Maybe there was a jersey pulled. Maybe maybe Joe McMahon was holding on to Bernard Broga because there's no doubt in Joe McQuillan's mind. And he's now taken out the book and perhaps noting the name of Joe McMahon. No, I think Joe McMahon fielded the ball wonderfully well. Came out with the ball, seemed to to grab uh, the, 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 your, the, his opponent's arm underneath his own and pull his opponent down. I have to say, Martin, I thought he won the ball cleanly, but oh, we'll he, have a look at the replay. Yeah, he did win the ball cleanly, and, but at the same time he tried to, to uh, manufacture a free for himself, and I think that's what Joe McQuillan is calling. Bernard Brogan's free, stopped right under the crossbar by Pascal McConnell. Big advantage to be six foot four, looming near the crossbar. Philip Jordan did well. Under pressure, Martin Swift gives it out to Joe McMahon from Omar St. Enders. Sean Kaplan loses possession. Sideline ball for Dublin. Good pressure though by Dennis Bastard. Quick ball inside first Paul Flynn. Bernard Brogan is looking for it. Martin Swift got a hand to it. Brogan, more importantly, gets a boot to it. And that's his first point in this All-Ireland quarter-final. The Dublin inside line causing serious problems. Yeah, the quality of the ball coming, though, is magnificent. Just watch again uh, Joe McMahon coming up, fielding the ball very well. Uh, Brogan is on top of him, but just watch McMahon's arm here. He tries to kind of... In a sense, manufacture a foul. I think that's a soft enough free action. I, I think it's yeah. a free out of it. Yeah, I, think, I yeah, thought it should have been a free out. But you see it up close, it should have been a free out. Comes down to Ger Brennan. Barry Cal looking eager, hungry for possession. Kevin Nolan goes for distance. Bernard Brogan just unlucky. Joe McMahon under pressure since the game started. Connor Gormley to Sean O'Neill. Never represented Tyrone prior to making the senior team. That's Sean O'Neill. Free to Tyrone. In Dublin seven points, by the way. Breakdown, six of them coming from play. One from a free. Martin Swift. Dublin's intensity has to be admired. Michael Dara McCauley lays it off to James McCarthy. He did this against Wexford. 
scored a cracking goal. Can he take his points? Slices off the wet boots from a wet ball. Third wide of the match for Dublin. Yeah, a little bit more vision that time. He had Alan Brogan running loose inside him. The ball might have got into him. Big game, of course, live on the Sunday game. It's the All-Ireland. First of the All-Ireland hurling semi-finals. Kilkenny against Waterford. Our coverage begins at 1.15 on RT2. Kick out by Pascal McConnell. Goalkeeper back in 2005 when Tyrone won their second All-Ireland title. Peter Hart. First cousin of Davy Hart. He's a member of the squad. Mark Donnelly from Carrick Moore. Support play comes from Martin Penrose on the turn. And that ball is well wide. Three wides for Tyrone. And I think it's fair to say that Tyrone's cage is seriously rattled. Although so far in their championship campaign, they've nearly always been a second half team. Yeah, but the shape is very poor at the moment. And just look at the scoring chances. Dublin has scored was it, seven of the two chances. are doing very well at the moment. Barry Cow. Justin McMahon. Lays it off to Alan Brogan. Gets inside Martin Swift. Seems to have so much time on the ball. Back for is Dennis Bastin. Ex-junior All-Ireland medalist in 2008. And Dennis Bastic will be disappointed with that effort. Yeah, at the moment, Dublin are enjoying total dominance nearly throughout the field. They should be putting a couple of more scores on the scoreboard. And Tyrone acknowledged that they might have problems around that middle area because uh, Pascal McConnell concentrating on short kickouts. Ultimately, it comes to Peter Hart. Thought about laying it off to Philip George. Sean O'Neill started the move. Flicks one across as far as Owen Mulligan. Dangerous enough ball. Cluxton says let it off. And Kevin Nolan gathers. Ger Brennan. Brian Cullen. Back to Brennan. Dennis Bastic. Gets by the challenges. Rory O'Carroll. Over first Ger Brennan again. South side and north side of Dublin City combining. Kilmer Cook Brooks and St. Vincent's. Two very great rivals on the local scene. With these men playing together for their county in the hope of bridging that All Ireland gap goes all the way back to 1995. Alan Brogan. Barry Powell. Thought about going back to Brogan. Justin McMahon is the left corner back. Still Powell. Coming through. Is Brian Cullen just miscued Kevin Hughes, knocked away by James 